So the big question is this, how do small businesses like yours, who feel like you're doing all the right things and going to all the right events, reach the federal buyer in a way that helps you win more contracts? That is the question, and this is the place to get your answers. My name is Neil McDonald. Welcome to the GovCon Chamber of Commerce. Okay, let's get started. Um, I'm really excited about bringing you today's tip about uh, DAU and how you can use that to find information. One of the things that all of us who sell to the federal government learn in business is that the, the government wants us to do our homework before we come in. They do their homework on us as sellers, researching what we sell, researching what they need, and being much better prepared buyers. And they expect us to do the same thing, to come in prepared, having done our homework um, and understand what some of their challenges are, what some of their goals are, certainly what their mission is. And in today's video, I just wanna show you one more example of how you can do your homework. Um, so let's pop over here to the Defense Acquisition University, dau.edu. Um, in here, there's all sorts of stuff and you can take your time to go through and visit. I'm gonna show you a couple of cool things that I really like, um, but I live and breathe on this site and I'll show you a couple of others in other videos, but this is a site designed primarily for the government to the government, right? But most of it's publicly available and you can get in here and learn what they're um, teaching themselves. And then also there's a lot that's being taught to the, uh, the industry. So one of the things I really liked on here on the homepage is if you scroll down, you get some news and you never know what you're gonna see. Um, but so there's acquisition news, they've got blogs in here. Again, explore all this, but right away, one of the things I noticed in preparation of this video is this one from yesterday, it's uh, March 24th, important new GAO report on cybersecurity challenges, right? So I clicked on it, open it up. That's a huge thing. I'm in the IT space. Even if I try to get farther and farther out and help everybody, I'm always gonna be in the IT space, right? That's where I started and that's where I live. Um, so this one right away grabbed my attention, but it's also really important to me because cyber DOD is teaching us is vital to the ent entire supply chain, um, not just those of us as IT companies. So um, when I saw it, I really wanted to dig into it. And in here, it gives me a good summary. I'm able to click through, find the real article. And, and this is the part I just want to show you right here. What GAO found, four major cybersecurity challenges and 10 associated critical actions. If you're in the cyber business or if you're in any kind of the uh, professional services businesses that would touch this, read this article. Take a minute to read it. Um, obviously, you could have found this on GAO's site, tracking that. But it was handy that I was able to find it from DAU's homepage. So great thing there. Um, the next thing I wanted to show you is inside of DAU, a part that I really like is um, if you come in here on the left menu, you'll see videos. Um, if you click on that, you'll just see all this great material, right? So right now I'm looking at succession planning um, and they organize it pretty well in uh, most viewed, most recent, most popular or the way they categorize it. Personally, I like going into most recent. Um, most viewed doesn't mean anything to me. It just means a bunch of people, like I could drive people to a particular video. What I wanna see is just all of them. If I get into a habit of doing this once a day for five minutes and I might do this and, and throw tips out on LinkedIn on that way, but here I can just start scrolling down and seeing if anything catches my eye. Um, so here, this one here, I, I went and watched. I don't think I have it any more open because it's just too deep for most people. Um, but it's, you know, the Air Force talking about their ground-based strategic deterrent systems and talking about weapon systems and it's contracting officers or the acquisition personnel related to this coming together for two hours and talking about it. I can work on other tasks while I listen to their conversation. So it's a great little find for me in that particular sense since I do stuff in the weapon systems area. Um, but just scrolling down, you know, you, you start seeing things that are here. Uh, here's uh, somebody talking about uh, OTAs, other transactions. And um, uh, one of the ones I saw when I was coming down, sustainment, sustainment, they're talking about how, oh, so here you go, adaptive acquisition workforce. Here they're teaching um, uh, acquisition personnel about the framework. And this is something that could be, again, you listen to while you're just understanding it. Um, 
if you're if you're creating data, you want to look at this one that's intellectual property and data rights that I'm highlighting and striking the balance. It's really important. DAU has been trying for I know they talked to me a couple of years ago about um, really helping industry and government come together and decide what's fair on what contractors should keep and what government should get. So you see a lot of content here and, and that's all normal, all sorts of stuff, cyber training, right? So get in here, see it, DevSecOps, how we apply security in the DevOps pipeline, um, a ton of stuff in here, right? And one of my favorites that, um, that I really liked as I came through was this one here from uh, Nicholas Shalon, the chief or Nick Shalon, the, the chief software officer from the Air Force who has massive influence in DOD and across the uh, federal government, frankly. And um, off of one of his sites, <clears throat> they drive you back in here. But here he's got a whole series about what he's talking about from DevSecOps and, you know, breaking in this is a little detail for people, but, you know, breaking it down um, into containers, sidecar containers, et cetera. And um, this is one of multiple uh, uh, areas that he has. So if I went in here and, and typed in a topic and searched like um, DevSecOps like that, you'll see a lot of the results you're used to this right so there's this channel and you can go chase the channel but the videos this is youtube for the government right if you were wondering what it was uh, it's it's right there for you so here you see a lot of videos where they talk about stuff and if you're writing responses to the federal government for rfis or rfps take a minute come in here and see how the leaders of software development are talking to the federal government about what they must do for software and and um, then also uh, what they must consider when they're talking to industry, et cetera. An example is somewhere in here, uh, people were talking about safe as it relates to agile. And he said, no, if you're doing agile, safe's a bad practice. And he has this whole video that goes into why. And if this is what he's telling agencies, that's good that you would know about it ahead of time so that you can either agree or disagree with them. So, okay, I'm not gonna go too far into it because you see what I'm trying to show you, just tons of videos in this particular case. Just a reminder, it's dau.edu. And, and, and you can go straight in if you want by typing in media.dau.edu. Otherwise, when you go to the home page, let me come back to the home page. When you're on the home page, the left side has a menu that takes you to a lot. I only touched on a little bit that's there. You know, you can pop into industry support, see what they got going on in here. Um, this is a lot of some of the stuff I share out. It's right here as well. Um, so this is good stuff for you to find and have access to. So I hope you found the tip valuable. If you did, others will too. Please give it a thumbs up so they can find it. If you'd like to connect with me personally, do so on LinkedIn. We often do free training webinars right here on govconchamber.com is where we host them. Sign up for the GovCon Chamber's email list to be notified about these and, and when we interview federal buyers, et cetera. So you get notified every single time. Finally, please consider becoming a sustaining member of the GovCon Chamber of Commerce. Help us keep bringing you great content like this for a dollar a day. I'm Neil McDonald, wishing you great success.